We're back with Dave Gervino, DuPage County Office of Emergency Management, talking about December. We've had these each month now, and of course, December is a big month. There's a I lot going it's on. It's a big, busy month. A lot of excitement, parties, and shopping, and and snow, and driving in bad weather, and trying to be prepared for those kinds of things. In, in general, Dave, what, what are we looking at as far as is a car? getting in our cars and making sure we have whatever we need to have in the car if we have a problem. Sure, well definitely now that winter is, is, has hit us, we want to make sure that we have emergency kits in our cars so that if we're traveling we have a blanket and we have water that's not frozen of course. And, uh, some, that's hard to do. It is, yeah. it is, yeah. Depending on how insulated your garage is, if you have a garage, that type of mm -hmm. thing. Uh, and you want to make sure you have jumper cables of course because batteries often die in cold weather so you want to make sure you have that as well as a flashlight and, and other things to keep you safe as you're out and about uh, this holiday season. Well, a lot would depend on, I would think, on the condition of your car. If you have an older car, I don't know, 8, 10 years old, maybe you should for sure have these kinds of items. But if you have a brand new car and it's, it's obviously running well, do you think you have to have one of these? Like, we own two cars. Would I have to have two sets of jumper cables, two packs with a blanket? Would that be something I should do? I think so, because you never know what's going to happen. And uh, definitely newer cars require less maintenance, but still with uh, extreme cold temperatures that we get here in the Chicago area and here in Addison, uh, it can definitely uh, drain your battery, and especially if you leave the lights on or different things that could happen. So no matter how new your car is, you definitely want to have an emergency kit. And, and how far you're going, maybe, because if you're just right here in town, you know there's a gas station nearby or even a friend could come and help you, you out. You can get help easily. Yeah. And you know, even on an older car, you want to do some preventive maintenance. So if you've never changed your battery and your car is five, six, seven years or older, you might want to go ahead and, and put a new battery in it now so you don't have to wait for it to fail on you. Well, isn't it wise to kind of check your car for the winter just to make sure everything is is in a working, good working order. You, you know, know you kind of winterize your you car, know, your yeah, battery, the battery, <clears throat> things like that. Things like, yeah. Okay, right. now we've got a car, we're driving to the mall. <laughs> Why She's driving to the mall, yeah. <laughs> and we're doing some shopping. What about shopping in the mall? What, what do we have to be aware of? What could we do to be safe? Well, definitely this time of year, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunities, unfortunately, for uh, people to become victims of crimes. So you want to make sure that you're not leaving things out in the open in your car, you're not leaving a, a purse on the seat or wrapped packages, things like that. You want to keep those out of sight, locked in the trunk, things of that nature. Also, because malls and, and shopping areas are more congested, it's a lot easier for people to get their wallets taken or you know a cell phone taken out of your, your purse or pocket, things like that. Someone can bump into you and you don't notice because everyone's bumping into you because it's crowded. So you definitely want to consider things, you know, keep your wallet in your front pocket, for example. Determine, do you, know, do you really need to bring this huge purse with a bunch of stuff in it uh, on your trip? Or, can or you one just that hangs from the shoulder and kind of swings. I right. think that's kind of, of dangerous. It should be close to the body and maybe more in front. Exactly. Think of those things. Think of if you're bringing small children with you, you know, keep them with you. Make sure they know what to do and where to yes. go if they get lost, if you get separated. It can be pretty frightening for a young child to get separated from oh, his or her yes. parents. Yeah, have kind of an emergency setup like you do at home in case there's a fire or something. You tell the kids you want to meet at a certain spot so everybody's together. Kind of the same deal if you're in the shopping center with your kids and they get lost, you have to tell them what they should do. Maybe even have a little identification on them, or should you do that? A That's phone right. Number or something? No, kids should definitely know and, and have with them a phone number, emergency contact number, their name, and, and that type of information. That way, if they do get lost or separated, you know, a, a child may have his phone number memorized, but when he gets lost, he might get scared and yes, frightened. And so, think of at it. least if he has it written down, he can give that to the police officer or the security guard so that uh, you mm -hmm. can get contacted. And you said, you know, about putting packages in the trunk. I think that should be for year round not to leave things in your car when you have your car locked up, parked in a mall or any place on the street because I think that's temptation. If somebody sees something they might want, Exactly, and not just packages, but even GPS units, for example. Yes. You know, it used to be people would put their GPS units in the glove compartment, but still thieves would see the mount and think, well, if you have a window mount for a GPS unit, you probably have a GPS unit yeah. close by, too. So consider putting the whole thing in a glove compartment or, mm -hmm. or out of sight. And so lock that, it. Exactly. And what about uh, online? 
What can we do about uh, being safe ordering things online? You want to be very careful when purchasing things online. You want to go to only trusted websites. And uh, if there's a retailer, a well-known retailer, for example, and you get an email and there's a, an offer you want to take advantage of, go directly to that site. Go to, you know, open your internet browser and go to walmart.com or target.com. And then when you get to the checkout screen, type in the promo code. Don't just click a link uh, on an email that's sent to you because it may look legitimate. It may look like it's from one of these retailers, but you never really know. So the best and safest way is to go directly to the website, place your order, and enter any discount code uh, directly on that website. Also, when you're entering your credit card information, look in the address bar, and it should start with HTTPS. That S at the end is very important because that means it's a secure website so that the information you're sending online can't be uh, received by hackers and, and other people. Oh, that's important. Didn't know that. that. Yeah. yeah, that's very uh, a good thing to know. So you really have to be careful of what you're doing and what you're ordering and what sites you are on. But how do you, you know, is there, uh, other than the HTTPS thing, how But you're saying you the pop-ups then that come, you know, that this offer is great, you know, you don't just click on that, you go right. to the official this, website. That's what I would recommend. Because you get a lot recommend. of pop-ups, advertisements. We get commercials everywhere we turn, you know. Mm -hmm. And most of them, if they are from a legitimate retailer, they will contain the promo code embedded in that email or in that pop-up mm -hmm. that says, you know, enter this promo code at checkout. Mm -hmm. Well, then you can just go directly to the retailer's site mm -hmm. and enter the promotional code there as opposed to clicking a link that you and don't know And you know, know that where. would be safer. Exactly. Yeah. As far as Christmas trees and lighting, it used to be pretty serious things. I remember when I was a kid, we'd have 12 extension cords all plugged into one big unit. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't happen and that much today. And the bulbs used to get hot, too. The, yeah. You Do know, on a real tree, the tree, I'm sorry, the tree dries out. Oh, yeah. You know, during the time right. and you had those hot bulbs on there. And that's why a lot of times at Christmas you hear on the news fires happening. Absolutely. If you're using a fresh cut Christmas tree, you want to make sure that you every keep day watered. keep it watered. Exactly. Once it dries out, and, and uh, you know, then, then you need to get rid of it. Make it's sure a that it sure is. Make sure that you're uh, you go through your strands of lights before you put them on the tree, inspecting the wires, and make sure that there's nothing frayed or or torn. And uh, you just want to uh, to practice safe, uh, you know, uh, safe safe planning when you're you're putting things up. Uh, another thing you want to do is make sure you're not overloading electrical outlets so it doesn't look like in the yes. Christmas vacation movie where he has like yes. 40 things plugged into one outlet. You want to make sure you're not, not overloading outlets. You want to make sure you're not running extension cords under carpets or uh, over or around nails to keep yeah. them up uh, you know, in, in the window frames, things mm -hmm. like that. And I know one thing we just have about a minute left, candles. I know a lot of people love to light the candles yeah. and have them throughout it's, the house. And it does. It looks beautiful sometimes. It smells nice. It Some smells of our nice scented too. candles. We but have it's to be careful hazard. with that, too. Yeah, candles and also heating sources in general, too. Mm -hmm. Space heaters. We see uh, a, a lot of fires occur in the winter due to, mm -hmm. due to heating sources. But definitely candles. You want to make sure you don't leave them unattended where a child or even a pet walking by could accidentally knock them over. over. You want to sh make sure you have matches out of the reach of children and, uh, and make sure that candles as well as other heating sources are away from curtains and drapery and mm -hmm. certainly away from your very dry Christmas tree. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Definitely. Well, thanks, Dave. And you heard some tips here. Please uh, take them for seriously and, and be careful. So their holidays will be happier. Yes, we'll be right back. <laughs>